everybody, it's Noel the Pop Hunter, and today we're going to be looking at the new Office event in Funko Pop Blitz, so let's get into it. So I've got two Pops here that I just want to show right now. First one is Dwight. So he is the one that you get from doing completing the event and getting all the things that you need to get, and that thing is the Staple Orangella. So the, this pop is in the game. This one is not, but that little thing right there is. And then this one is very strange. So this is Recyclops, ECCC 2020 virtual con thing. And on the back here, see the set there, but it says Funko Pop Blitz. So there is one that I've seen say Funko Pop Blitz before, and that is Everest from whatever that movie was called. You can actually get Everest in the game. But you can't get Recyclops. Do you think they'll add Recyclops in the future? But it doesn't actually say you can play with him on the back. It says, collect and play with iconic characters, a brand new matching puzzle game that celebrates the fan in all of us. It's not as weird as it would have been if they said that you could play as him. It's still pretty weird, and I hope to see him in the future. So, let's start playing. So, they do have to say The Office US, because if you don't know, there's also a British version of the show. That many people know about that. That was the first one. But you may not know, there's actually ones for many, many other countries. So, here you can see they made Jim, Pam, Daryl, and Michael. I don't have Michael yet. I'm really hoping to get him. Maybe we can get him in the video. But I got all of these commons right here at the bottom. That is very annoying because it's 6,000 coins and you could get these in a 2,500 coin box. And I've got two gems so far, so I've already, I have two stars for him. And let's look in my collection, actually, and I'll show you all my guys. So here they are. I've got a two-star gem, and look at his stickers here. So they've got his Dave sticker. That is the what the real pop actually has. It says Dave. That was his Halloween costume one year. If you don't know, he's not really into Halloween costumes in the game. Next is a tuna, because Andy calls him Big Tuna in the show, because he ate a tuna sandwich the first day he transferred. And then here they've got Professor Copperfield's Miracle Lagoons. Now this was when he was like pranking Dwight and saying, and it was in the garage sale, and, it was like, and then Dwight was like, oh, you want to sell me these? And he's like, no, I don't. And then here is just his tie. And then here with Pam, we see all her stickers. Oh, I just got another heart. So right here is the teapot, which was the present that Jim gave her. And then here is a painting of the Dunder Mifflin building. If you don't know, that's the one she made. And then Michael bought it at the art show. Phone, Pam's the receptionist. Volleyball, if you don't know, in the show, she actually is really good at volleyball. She played volleyball camps, played volleyball in college. She did all that stuff. And, and then they play that in the company picnic. And she was really good. And then next here is the Burning Rocks. If you don't know, in the episode where they were trying to find a new manager at the beach, that is the episode where the sumo Andy is from. And then he floats away. But she walked on the hot rocks. And then here is Daryl. He has some of my favorite stickers. Oh, so sadly it says this. But sadly I don't have another star for him, so I can't see these. But I can see his piano. His, his piano, because he plays the keyboard. Or, yeah, keyboard. And then here is his crutches because if you don't, if he, because he fell off of a thing when he was using the lift as a elevator and then he blamed it on the company. And then the next one, I can't really tell what it is, but then the next, then the next one after that is the lift and then the bail and then a ream of Dunder Mifflin paper. And then here for Dwight, he has, so there's the beats, there's the sheriff star. There's his, I can't tell if this is his Pam hair or his Meredith hair. And then, something. I can't tell what that one is. But they all have pretty cool stickers. And let's pop in a game. Okay, so I got my Dwight here. See all these rewards. But this is when it actually starts being the office. So I've got one, and then I get two, and then more, and then more, and then more to get him fully maxed out stars. But now I do have a four times bonus. I just got that. And yeah, let's start a game. Okay, so the goal of those staplers and jellos, you gotta get them to the bottom. Okay, so there's the Shrek there. Come on, okay, I think I might be able to get him soon. There, 
Okay, one down. Hmm. Okay, that rocket was pretty good. I do like using those to get them to the bottom. Hmm. Sometimes I focus too much on getting that to the bottom, and then I can't get any score. And then, but I'm not really caring about the score right now because the event does end in one hour for me. Probably ended like a day ago or two for you. And the next event will be Monsters, Universal Monsters. And I think that will be a pretty cool event. I'm not as into it as I am The Office. That's because The Office is like my, I'd say my favorite show. What do I do here? I'm letting it shake. Okay, so I got a rocket. Did that vertically. Okay, boom. We just got one, and I have the four times multiplier, so that's actually four. I did not do too well. It's a bit hard to commentate and play at the same time. But, come on, ah. Uh, so we only got one, but that is actually four for me. So you see here, one and four. And I have a 280% bonus. So not too good that time. I'm gonna try to get this next way. Let's fast forward. Okay, so let's get this one to the bottom. I think this one, I think we're gonna get this very quickly. Come on. Hmm, okay, there's that white. Yes, we got a bomb. Bombs are my favorite. There's actually a power up where you can switch rockets with bombs. And that is amazing. You can get triple your high score in the first five seconds with that. And that is a great power up. And I think to buy that, it's like 500 coins. I say maybe it's it's not worth it in coins. You won't make your coins back, but you will get a pretty good score. I'm gonna choose this one. Uh, I ho was hoping I got a rocket here. So his power up is the beats, and then you pick a beat. Okay, so here's his power up. He pulls out a beat because he is a beat farmer in the show. And then there's three beats right here. You pick one and you either get a rocket or a electric thing. Okay, come on. Good, let's get this guy to the bottom. Okay, so I have four, so right now I'd have 16. Boom, boom. Okay, so we're in blitz mode. And I've learned that blitz mode takes away one of the characters and you can only have three. And then that is actually really good. It's a lot better than you'd think, actually. So blitz mode is pretty good. Okay, let's pick this one here so we try to get that badge down. I actually can't use that right now, but why not? You get in a few extra coins if you can't use it. Okay, come on, let's get this. No! Right at the bottom, come on, let's see. Come on, go vertical, yes, that went vertical. Come on, bomb, somehow. Let's do this. Nah, but we got seven and times four. That is a number that will be shown. 28, so that's pretty good, and we're gonna get this next right right now. Actually, that's exactly what we needed. Okay, so here we're gonna get two more joints to get the next star. Woohoo! There it is. So we got another star up. Boom. So I have 50 stars right now. Now I have 51. I don't want to tell you how to improve. I accidentally clicked no, but I don't care. Okay, so that is pretty good. And now let's use some other guys to find their power-ups. Let's play as Jim. Okay, so right off the bat here, we've got that, that Shrek thing to get the thing. And there's another one right there, right off the bat. This seems like it's gonna be a good game. Let's fast forward a little bit in time. Okay, so we've got another one, and right now we have three, three times four, 12. Okay, so here it is. It zooms in on Jim, and then there's Dwight. That is pretty cool. I like how another character's in that. I don't know if they've had two characters in any others. Okay, so now we've got another one and another one. And, ooh, let's get this bomb, come on. Uh, okay, another one, another one. So right now we have seven, seven times four, 28. We got this thing again. What were those supposed to be? Were those pieces supposed to be pencils? I'll have to slow that down and Noel, editor Noel, put up a text of what that is because I can't really tell from here. Two more, we've got 10, 10 times four, 40. 
This is amazing. We got another sticker right there. I'm getting a lot of his power up. And it's a pretty fun animation. Boom. Okay, another one. It's crazy. Come on, let's get this last one. Oh, okay, but we did get 10, so that's pretty good. And there it is. Oh, that is my high score. Not too shabby. Ooh, I'm getting pretty close to my mega score. Maybe we'll reach that before the end of the video. And now, let's move on to Pam. Okay, so we're starting and go. We've got a rocket with Pam. Okay, so there's a supercharge, and there's her receptionist phone up there. And let's fast forward a bit in time. Oh, so here's her thing. And, okay, so it's drawing, because in the show, Pam does like to draw. And, okay, so it turned them all into Pam. That is actually a pretty good power-up. That did a lot right there. Okay, here. Okay, so we've got two right now. We have six, six times four. Another draw, so all Pam. I do like how they make some of the power-ups a little more interactive. Okay, so now we have 10 with 20 seconds left. Here it is again. And it does do a different shape every time. I think there's a few shapes it rotates through. Okay, here it is. There's a teapot. Let's get one of those. Boom, teapot. And, okay. So right now we have 10 staplers and jellos. Okay, so here's the crown, you can use that. And come on, let's get to the end here. Let's get two more, ah, time's up. Nice. And 40 again, this is pretty good. Honestly, 40, that's pretty good. I could get to 600 pretty quickly. High score? No. And 169 coins. So you need 6,000 for an event. Hopefully I'm, I'll be able to open one up this video. Okay, and here is Daryl. Let's start. Okay, so we've got a crown right here, right off the bat. There it is. And then we have, already have one stapler in Jello. Wow, this is, whoa, we're already in a blitz mode right at the beginning. It's kind of crazy. I'm trying to get the Daryl's all matched so we can get a, what's it called? Super power up. Because that's how you get them. You have to match up the character you're using. I think that puts a little more interest into the game. Because if the character you were using was on the board for really no reason, I think that would, oh, here it is, here it is. Okay, so I didn't do very well on that, but it's his keyboard and you have to click it. So I like how they put a little skill into the power up. Let's try to get another one and I'll do better. So it's not really like a tune or anything. It's just kind of there. I don't know what it's, if it's supposed to be playing something. Oh, and here's his jacket. Oh, that's the thing that I didn't know what it was. It was his jacket. Okay, round results. We got seven. Okay, and 28 in total. Wow, pretty good score. But my high score for him, I think, is like 1,400,000 something. We're already at 112, so times four to times two makes a huge difference. So right here in the back, I just wanna look at some of the Easter eggs. So this is them in the conference room. And right here, it's the, I forget what the logo is, but it's when they're waiting for it to hit the corner and then Michael's doing a meeting and he's doing the thing and he's talking and then everybody's like, whoa! Yeah! And they're like, oh man. And then they think they're talking, he thinks he's talking to them. 
And there's It Is Your Birthday for Kelly's birthday when Jim and Dwight were put in charge of the party planning committee. And then there's the board and then there's the board with paper when Michael was like, Oh, it's not a pyramid scheme. It's not even a scheme really. It's just Phil told me and another guy about it and then I have to tell three other people. And then he drew it all out on the board and then Jim just drew a pyramid around it. And then Michael was like, I have to make a call. So I do like the attention to detail there. And then they've got all the small, like, not really inflated balloons. Because that was a pretty bad party. Okay, so I still do need Michael. I might grind a little bit. There's one hour and 57 minutes. And if I, haven't, if I can open another box, I'll be back. Two thousand years later. So the event ends in 20 seconds. I have no hearts left, and this will, and this is where I'll be, right here. So I got two, three stars for Dwight, which is pretty good. But, yep, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. The office event is over. We're back to normal. So I did kind of well. This is a bit weird. It says starts in zero, 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 zero. But, yeah, I didn't get Michael. I didn't get full maxed out Dwight. But I'd say I did okay. I got the four, no Michael. I wish I got maxed Dwight. What did, what did pop? What just popped up there? The next new event is coming soon, which will be the Monsters. So close. Could have completed that set, but didn't. And I did get very lucky with the Care Bears. I got Grumpy Bear, which was the rare one, the one that was kind of like Michael. But I do really like The Office, favorite show. But believe it or not, I don't watch the Care Bears. So I really wish my luck I could transfer that over from the Care Bears to this because that would be pretty cool. So that was a pretty cool event. I got Dwight. I'm collecting all of the Dwight Pops, so I'll count that as one. If I didn't get it, I wouldn't have counted it, but I got it. So I'll count it. And that's all for now. So make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to see more by me. Good work. Identity theft is not a joke, Noel. Millions of families suffer every year.